Breaking news. A 300 level photo student knocked and crushed to death by two speeding bike men. In the early hours of Sunday evening, a 300 level photo student named Friday Chukwemeka from the Department of Mechanical Engineering was knocked down by two speeding bike men along the Eziobodo Futo Road, an area located off campus of the Federal University of Technology, which holds a large population of students living off campus. It was gathered that Mr. Chukwemeka Friday had his earphones on while walking on the newly tarred Eziobodo Futo Road when two speeding bike men hit him. Here are what some students and bike men had to say about this. According to the the weakness, those people that were there when this thing happened, they say the bike, one bike hit him the first time because they say the boy just walk into the road like that, cover, use airpiece, cover ear, according to the weakness. So, and bike they come with speed, no say here on the road, the bike was coming, was coming with speed. The first bike hit him, he fell for ground, the second bike now hit him again. So, after that now, they rush him to hospital to photo clinic here. Before they could reach their heart at the boy, they said the boy has already give off. They now rush him again to uh, FFC way. It's there that they confirm that, that the boy is dead. I think uh, the blame should not be given 100% to the bike men actually, because uh, if you look at this new built road now, this Ezio Bodo photo road, there's supposed to be a bomb. At least in every two or three miles, there's supposed to be a bomb there. So it's the students walking on the roadside, uh, as in some students don't know how to walk. They walk the center of the road, like the way you can see them now, walk center of the road without minding if the bike is coming at the front or the back. Uh, so, but in that case, in this case now, we have to put it 50-50 to the students and to the bike men. Bike men, slow down your speed whenever you're on the road. Slow down, know that uh, uh, there are pedestrians walking. Then the students watch when you're walking too. I heard them, the girl was hit by the bike and then after that she was taken to the medicals and then she died there. And then later in the evening I heard the guy died too. I don't really know much about what happened but I feel it's cause the road is, the road has no bump. Like people are complaining that this is a street and it's not supposed to be made like a major road and even if they're going to do it like this, they should put bombs. I don't actually know if I would blame the road or the bike man because as a local government or the government as a whole, you be this kind of road in the student environment, you should know that there should be a speed bump. But and when there's no one, the bike, when there's none, the bike will be running as if the, the road is uh, as an express road. Okay, for instance, uh, the guy, it's also the guy's fault because if you're meant to cross a main road, you're meant to look before you cross. For that kind of accident to occur, means he didn't look for his, his carelessness. It's from the guy, actually. The guy didn't look for it and he was wearing an earpiece. If the bike man actually blow the horn, he will not hear it. Basically, I heard it. It was an accident that happened between you know, I think a guy in school and then these Okada guys, these bike guys. So, but my issue with the road is the road is actually very nice. But I think the issue here is there's no road bombs, or there are no road bombs amongst here, like in the school here. So, if we can fix in road bombs in easy over the road, I believe that the whole speed will be controlled. Because I think the issue was due to the whole speed limit thing. I think the, the bike was on speed and then the guy came in or something. He was rushed to the photo medical center and then referred to another hospital in town, location still unknown, where he was confirmed dead. His body has been deposited at the mortuary. His death triggered shock to his roommate, which has left him unconscious and currently receiving treatment at the photo medical center. More stories yet to be uncovered. For these and more, follow us on all our social media platforms. Derek Rexford, reporting for Chuck O.T.